explain job cost sheets and how they're used in a job. And so it could look like this. The idea here is we just track the items and the labor and the overhead to each to each job. Not not that's all this is doing. It's just a different format. And so don't want to spend too much time here. But the idea here is it the ordering department you ordered a certain amount of steel and then your boss will requisition or you might requisition the steel for your job. And then they'll say, oh, okay, requisitions this amount. On this date, we asked for it. How much was it? And then we talked about Jim. Jim worked on it. For, let's say he's getting paid $10 an hour. He worked 12 hours this day uh, and he puts his time ticket in for the day. And oh, I worked on this for this job. And then we, all this is pretty straightforward. Like, okay, we know the cost related to it. And at the end, we have our overhead. And here they're saying, well, we know, we're estimating that it's about 160% of our direct labor cost is the overhead. And then there's ways we'll talk about to judge if our estimate is correct. Uh, but this is just an estimate. And this 160%, it's being pulled out of thin air uh, for this example. But generally, we kind, of, we kind of look at the past and try to build a reasonable estimate based on what we think is reasonable. For example, if most of our overhead is electricity and we have a lot of machines, maybe we'll use machine hours and try to figure out a good estimate for machine hours. If our, most of our overhead is our supervisors, then maybe we'll try to see uh, labor costs, make an estimate based off labor costs. So we just try to do what makes sense and find a good correlation, kind of what you would study in your statistics course. Like, okay, what, what correlates well and does it actually cause the overhead to be used. And then you get a summary here of the total cost for the job. And then you'd be able to determine if you're gonna make a profit or not. So something interesting here is from an accounting perspective, as soon as you know you're not going to take a, make a profit on a job, you have to take the loss from a financial accounting perspective. But you don't have to know that, that's just a little bit of an example.